So uh, this next act, I have the pleasure of uh, doing sound for these guys 22 years ago at the Howland Cultural Center when they came to one of my open mics. Um, this is the the abridged version of the Slambovian Circus of Dreams. This is the Slambovian Underground, and it's the three main members, or, or three of the members, uh, Josiah, Tink, and Sharky. Put your hands together for the Slambovian Underground. see the turnout because um, the only way I think we can deal with this situation or similar situations to this is to have a you know a, a network of people that are connected with the same viewpoint to help things I mean you know I think we all gotta like pray to figure out how to make the details function to eliminate problems like this you, know? you, you can't do it alone uh, but well, today is the anniversary for us uh, of, of uh, an organization we started in the city that we built into this big thing and the whole thing went down the tubes because of substance abuse and we wound up on the street 27 years ago uh, homeless with five kids so uh, uh, the, the, the topic is uh, and this is a specific version of the topic you know, that we need to all deal with but it's only community together with an awareness that can get around this problem and into the problem that can really give it the traction it needs to uh, be solved. We're all been trying to figure it out for a long time you know, in many different forms. Um, I would say that two in a row. So, uh, so we'll, we'll play for you. Okay. This one's for the ghosts.
nothing we're getting small yeah. we're tuning into you won't walk before we learn to crawl this town we want you to get through we need you now kids for us for the past like uh, like I said about close to 27 years I guess something like that and it's been we did a 27 year dry tour and, uh, and asked it of everybody that played with us which is no easy task you know? so uh, you know I think it, it that's a conditional thing you know we were just trying to which we're all trying to figure it out how to deal with things you know the best people go off the cliff all the time you know so uh, we did that tour in that kind of way, and we, you know, that, like I said, about 27 years ago. So we're happy to be here, and I hope we can figure this out. You know, we've we've had so many uh, friends go. It used to be, that I think, the musician area used to seem to go the most. You know, so we had a lot of people, uh, you know, go to the other side. Luckily in Slambovia, we don't sweat going to the other side. You know, we all look forward to going to the other side. We get a little jealous when people go before us, because uh, we've, we've made ourselves, in the Church of Slambovia, we've written the mythology that when you go to the other side, you get to go fishing all the time. And uh, if you're good, you know, uh, you get less paperwork. If you're really good, there's no paperwork at the gate at all. You just get a fishing boat and go, you know, so we managed to, uh, so, we, you know, we, we're not so afraid of death. And uh, we communicate with our friends who have gone before us, so, so that's what that song is about. Oh. What, what are we doing next? What were we thinking? Yeah, we, we, we'll, uh, we'll play this song called Light Away. They'll have a service for uh, Grayson. We loved Grayson. We knew him since he was a little kid, you know. And uh, in, 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 I'm a little bit spiritually open. That could People tell me there's, there's uh, drugs for that, too, but I, I, I stay there. <laughs> I saw, I saw, for me, I saw Grayson a few times already, and I told Phil he's doing it. He landed him go on the other side. And I've actually seen that, it's that a bullshit thing. I don't know whether, what it means about my mind, but uh, he seems to have landed, you know, pretty well. He said he was, he's a really good kid, you know. I sent some friends of mine who went on before him to meet him, and I always ask those friends to go ahead and meet people. They even met my dad. My dad, uh, I had these friends meet my dad, 
And then my dad, uh, he was he passed and then came back. You know, one of those kind of situations. He didn't completely die, and then he told me who it was that, that came to meet him by name, and they were the friends that I sent. And so my father, when he passed, uh, he was not. A, he said to me, "I am not." He chased everybody in the room to explain this to me. You know, because the family was all gathered around. Obviously, he saw his last legs, and he chased everybody out. He said, "Don't put me in the loony bin if I tell if I tell uh, them what I'm about to tell you." And he told me about all the friends that I had sent him to meet him on the other side. And he said to me, I'm absolutely not afraid to die. So a thing that I dreaded all my life, my dad and I played music since I was a little kid together. It was a painless experience of my father passing, which is just uh, a miracle. So if that's real and the ghosts are really helping, I'm very grateful to, for them doing that. And uh, Grace is in a good space. And if you had people to go with, they'll be taken, taken care of on the other side. Play this song called Light Away. We played it pretty good the other day when we didn't hadn't played it for 20 years, but we could screw it up now, so I try to get the set in Well I know what you're thinking. Someday we can ride out. Rise above this sinking. Someday we can ride out and light away and light away.
thanks for the, the for the hope I felt when I saw how packed this place was. I mean, it's really it's very cool. But, yeah. Anyway, we all feel grateful to each other that it's packed. Right? So, cool. Good work. play a Slambovian waltz called Pushing Up Daisies. Um, uh, I'm going to now. This is, this actually, we were, we went to, uh, we were doing a UK tour a couple of years back. And a friend of ours who passed had written in his will to have this song played at his uh, his wake, and uh, so he had they had to wake at Arlo Guthrie's church, you know, uh, the famous church from Alice's restaurant. You know. They had to they had to wake there, and uh, the whole family had Slambovian great unravel shirts on, which is cool. And and my friend had his great unravel shirt on in his in his, uh, in his coffin, and. Uh, they played this song. We were we were in England. We couldn't even go ourselves to play, and they had a Catholic priest come and uh, explain the meaning of the lyrics to people. My mother was very happy because uh, she thought, "Oh, maybe there's a chance I'm not going to hell because of that." Who, who announced us, but uh, one of the first shows we ever did in Beacon, I think the first show we ever did in Beacon was at the Howland Center. And uh, when we played that night, it seemed like the roof went off. Like it just, it this metaphysical experience. It was like amazing. Uh, there's something in the Howland Center that, I think Tom you know. I think so. So thanks to Tom and then for Phil, the, the first shows we ever did, it was actually Josiah and Sharky did open mics at the town fire in Pauline. So Phil has been a big supporter of our career. So we really want to just thank him. And I think we should all thank him for providing a venue for us to meet together. Okay. So this is, uh, this is pushing up daisies. It's gonna sound like without a bass player and a drummer. This could suck, so uh, you've been a good audience so far, so we'll just remember the last applause. Like. On to it.
transform resistance into an embrace. Let everyone know they can't be replaced. We're pushing our days way up to the sky. Yeah.